Hello everyone and welcome to this video which will demonstrate our integration with the GuardiCore Centra security platform. First of all, let's uh, look at our integration with VMware vSphere. So Neosh Networks has the capability of automatically deploying uh, virtualized routing and switching modules when the SXI hosts uh, and enable the virtual machines to communicate uh, through, through the use of um, overlay networking. Now, the way this happens is the following. Uh, if we have an SXI host, we will create a distributed vSwitch um, without any uplinks and um, we will connect the virtual machines to, to it. So, given the fact that the virtual machines are on different VLANs, they are un unable to communicate directly. So, they, what we will do is we will configure a special kind of uh, trunk port group uh, which uh, will allow promiscuous mode, therefore will uh, send a copy of all the traffic to the connected virtual machines, to the VRS agent. Uh, now the way uh, this works externally is, uh, is the same. The distributed V switch doesn't have any uplinks, therefore it's impossible for it to communicate directly. Um, and all the traffic will have to go through the VRS agents. Um, GuardiCore on the other side is a scalable security platform. It covers five main areas. The flow visualization um, provides an automatic discovery and a visual map to all applications and workloads. The micro segmentation allows to uh, define granular security policies. Uh, there is a the multi bridge detection. Uh, which has multiple detection methods, an automatic analysis module, and the incident response. Um, GuardiCore Center architecture is depicted in the following uh, diagram. So we, it's composed of three main layers. The first one is guest or infrastructure layer, which contains all the hypervisors and the agents. Uh, there is the aggregation layer that we won't be using in our demo because uh, it is mainly used for larger deployments. Uh, the management and deception uh, servers are in the management and deception layer. And uh, in this particular demo we will be using three components. So the management server uh, provides the single point of configuration, it has a user interface, it provides alerting and reporting. Uh, the deception server is basically the sandbox that will be used by the collector to forward the suspicious connections. And the collector uh, is the module that resides on the ESXi itself and uh, will basically detect uh, all the suspicious traffic and redirect it to the deception servers. Um, now, if we move back to our integration with uh, VMware vSphere, um, um, our OVS port group that is in promiscuous mode, um, we will connect to it the GuardiCore collector as well. Um, and this will basically allow it to also receive a copy of all the traffic and as we will see later in the demo, uh, it will also be able to inject traffic. So let's see uh, how this works in the demo. Now the use case that we're going to see here uh, is the lateral movement use case. So this is uh, when an attacker uh, gets access to, to a server inside the network and tries to move laterally, meaning it tries to scan uh, ports of um, neighboring servers and tries eventually to log on. Um, as we said, this is a VMware environment. We have two ESXi hosts. Each of those ESXi hosts has a Neosh VRS and a GuardiCore collector uh, installed. And we also have one virtual machine. So this is only one virtual machine connected to one subnet. We can see it here. It is connected to 1083.42.0 and has the IP address of 160. Um, we can open a console to the machine 
and confirm the IP address 1083.42.160. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to try to connect to uh, an imaginary server um, on the same network which doesn't exist and we'll see what happens. 8342.10 for example. So what happens now is the Godly Core Collector will monitor this flow and we'll see if there is no response to it. It will uh, direct it to the uh, Godly Core Deception server which will respond and will propose to authenticate. Um, now we try a fake password. Um, it doesn't let us in. Try another one. Still failed. We try the third time. And we're logged in. So now we can see that uh, this is basically a, a fake environment. Uh, we're on the deception server. Um, but it's Linux based. We can see the IP address, uh, we can see the um, um, different files. Uh, we can um, even ping the DNS. Let um, to see release. Oops. Um, this is an Ubuntu Linux. Um, so anyway, we can exit now. Um, now another thing that we can do is we can launch an nmap to uh, to another IP 1083.10.46.20 and uh, we're gonna leave it running for now. It's gonna be long to run so I'm gonna fast forward. Okay, we can see that uh, the nmap has finished, it reports the host as app and it has scanned a uh, thousand ports and it, uh, all of them are reported as filtered. So filtered means um, they might be open but they, there might be a firewall behind them so nmap is not able to tell if they are really open or not. Um, so what we can do now is go to the Gardicore dashboard and try to see um, if there are, if we can see uh, any incidents reported. We can see that there is one incident for the SSH login and four incidents for the port scan. Let's take a look at the SSH one. First we see a brief description of what happened. It says the user has logged in using SSH with the credentials, reached max attempts and then the connection was closed. Now in the session recording tab we can see a very detailed um, timeline of all the actions. Uh, with the times, so it starts with a login attempt, uh, three attempts with the wrong password, one succeeded. Uh, we can see all the comments that have been um, entered, all the processes that have been used. Now in the files we can see all the files that have been created, deleted or modified during the session. The processes tab shows all the processes that have been executed. Uh, we also have the network activity and the credentials. We can also look at the port scan incidents. They're all the same. So uh, we can look at the first one. Uh, we basically see all the list of the scan ports by and map. And that's it. 
So the way this works at scale is we have a multitude of compute hosts. Um, each of them has a lot of VMs uh, and in addition each compute host has two functional VMs, the VRS and the GuardiCore collector. The VRS is used to form VXLAN transport tunneling and the GuardiCore collector is used to intercept traffic and to decept it to the deception server. Obviously there is more to GuardiCore solution and uh, if you need more information you can check GuardiCore's website but the objective of this demo was to demonstrate the interoperation of uh, Nuage Networks VSP and GuardiCore Centra. If you haven't done so already please check out our partner page at nuage slash partners.